Teenagers are different. They dress differently, they talk differently, they do things that adults have trouble understanding. But the teen brain may have benefits, says Daphna Shahami, a neuroscientist at Columbia's Zuckerman Institute. She thinks that studying teenagers could help us understand how everyone makes decisions based on their experiences and their memories. Memories are more than mental snapshots we look at every now and then. They guide every choice we make, like what to order at a restaurant, or whom to date, or marry. They help us learn from our experiences, good and bad. Teenagers don't have a lot of experiences. Their brains are young. The part that drives them to seek rewards is hyperactive, while the part that puts the brakes on, that gives them self-control, isn't yet fully formed. We usually think of this immaturity as a bad thing. Teenagers are notorious for risky behavior, like smoking or driving fast, or for spending too much time playing video games and trying to get likes online. But neuroscience research is showing that the teen brain may have advantages. It may be wired to learn from experience. We scan the brains of adults and teenagers as they learn to play a learning and memory game that we developed in my lab. The teens not only did better at the game, but they were also better at remembering random images flashed on the screen that weren't even part of the game. Our scans showed why. In teens, the part of the brain that seeks rewards, the striatum, was communicating with the hippocampus, the part of the brain that helps us store our memories. And teenagers showed more of this communication than the adults did. The teen brains were making powerful connections that helped them learn from their experiences. As scientists, we once thought that learning from experience and creating memories happened separately in different parts of the brain. But research like this illustrates that memory is woven into structures throughout the brain, connected in ways we're just beginning to discover. As students go back to school, it's really worth keeping in mind that learning isn't limited to memorizing facts from textbooks. It's something that happens constantly as we collect new experiences both in and out of the classroom.